What's up everyone? Welcome back to Mike's Mini Motors. So today we got a new bike to the channel. This is my 2006 Honda Metro. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram like a week or so ago, I did post pictures of it and you can see that it was originally green and black. But the green paint on this was flaking off and had some damage on some of the panels. So I decided to uh, repaint it and I just went all black because I do black most of the time. <laughs> Um, and the front half turned out really great. I had problems with the clear on the back half, so don't pay too close attention to that. Um, but other than that, the only other real thing I've done to it is I put the uh, get engine off of my Ruckus on here. And so it's, it's stretched it a little bit. It's got this, it's nothing special, just one of those cheap little Briggs and Stratton mufflers. Uh, and it had an intake on it. So a little bit of improvements there. Uh, not much. Uh, but what we're going to be doing today is installing the small fast thing stretch kit for this thing. So it's already got, because of the ruckus engine, a little bit of a stretch, and this is just gonna stretch it even further. So let me go ahead and grab the camera, and as usual, show you guys the, the parts we're gonna be doing, and then we're gonna dive right into it. All right, so here is the stretch kit from Small Fast Things. You can see they got the, the main stretch bracket here, your new shock mount, uh, and then some bolts and all the hardware you need, and then it even comes with a sticker. Uh, one thing that they do offer as an option are these right here. These are the extended brake and throttle cables, and I did decide to add those on after seeing on my C3 how I wish I would have. So I, I did go ahead and install these since I had all the panels off when I was doing the painting. Um, but yeah, I figured why not have the extra space just in case instead of trying to stretch them. All right, so now I got to get the these rear plastics off this thing. So I'm going to do that real quick in the hyperlapse and then we'll get this motor pulled. All right, so the first thing we're gonna have to do to get the stretch kit installed is get the get engine unbolted from the frame and slid out of the way so that we can get the bracket mounted. Um, so to do that, I'm gonna have to unhook the electrical connections to the engine, the motor mounts here, remove the shock, uh, coolant overflow, and then just other the miscellaneous stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick on the hyperlapse, get this back so we can get the bracket installed. Well, now that we got that get engine out of the way, you can see we got a lot more space here. So we're looking at the bottom side here of the Metro rear frame, and we're ready to put in our small fast things uh, stretch bracket. So if you notice here, there is a little metal bar with a rubber bushing on it, and that actually locates up in right here on the rear frame, and that keeps this from clocking. And if you look, uh, when I pull the uh, stock motor hanger off, I'll show you that they have that stock as well. So you just need to Get that lined up like that. And then get our hardware in there. And then, yeah, so it just comes with two bolts. Uh, one goes on this side, and then the other one came with some washers. Because once you bolt in the, the one side, there will be a little bit of a gap here, and the washers are there to take up that space. So let me go ahead and get this bolted in, and then we can get our uh, shock mount bolted in. All right, so we got our stretch bracket mounted in there, nice and rigid. Um, and now we're ready to move on to the shock mount. And the one nice thing about using this, this new shock mount is the Metro shocks come this way. I think it's a cleatus end, what they call it. I forget for, for sure, but it's got that on both ends. And like a ruckus shock has that on the bottom and then the eyelet on the top. So nice thing about me using this uh, <laughs> shock mount is I can now run this one so this is you know I'm going from the stock Metro shock to a, a nice NCY one so the ride should be a bit better which I'll <laughs> I'll enjoy 
Um, so now to mount the the shock bracket, all you have to do is go up here where the shock was, but you have to go to this side of the little bushing because the bolt that you get feeds through the bushing and bolts to this here because it's threaded on that side. So there's the full stretch kit installed. Got your main bracket here, your shock mount, and then the extended cables since that's what I purchased. So now we're ready to just take the motor and slap it back on. And but before I do that, like I said, I'll get the motor up here and I'll show you that stock hanger. So you can see that it also had the little rubber bushing that goes up there. So this is the stock hanger off the engine. And as you can see, it's got the rubber bushing right here. And that went up just like this here in the same orientation that went got captured in that same spot on the frame. So, but we're not gonna need that anymore, so I can set that aside. Um, one other thing I did want to point out is on this shock mount, just to get it to line up so I could bolt it in, I did need to trim it just a little bit, not too much, but just be aware you might need to. Not too big a deal. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get the, the get engine bolted back on here. Uh, but this time we're gonna be using our new NCY shock and hooking it all back up. So the engine's mounted back on here. Um, I did have to put some spacers between the shock and the shock mount, just because otherwise this uh, shock was rubbing on the tire a little bit. And so yeah, I just put some, some thicker washers in there and called it a day. So now I'm just ready to hook up the rest of it. I gotta hook up the brake line, throttle, the electrical, uh, just coolant overflow line. And I think we should be able to be, we should be good to put our plastics on then. There you have it, got the stretch kit all installed, uh, everything bolted back together. I even started it up for a second just to make sure that everything's good. Um, so now, just bolting the plastics back on and we're done. There we have it, got the stretch installed now. Uh, looks a bit better, I think it's more stretch. Um, definitely gonna have to get a low down shock. It looks quite a bit high. It is on the center stand still, and I'll see when I get it off of here, but definitely probably gonna want to lower this thing a bit more. <laughs> and clean it. This thing was, this engine was filthy. So don't mind that. I'm gonna clean it up. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's the, the small fast thing stretch kit. It was pretty uh, simple, straightforward install. There's a couple of things I had to do, like uh, grind the, uh, the shock mount a little bit, but just little tiny things, you know, other, other than that, it was straightforward, easy install. So, and I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to pick that up. Um, and keep an eye out for this bike on the channel some more. I got some more stuff coming up. I got uh, uh, Ruckus Triple Tree and controls and all that kind of stuff that's going to be going on here next. So, keep yeah, stick around if you want to see that. Um, and with that, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks.